Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Highway and you. Everywhere you look these days, you'll find modern luxuries that make life easier for the typical nuclear family. Luxuries that we all too often take for granted. Just look around and you'll see. Modern communications technology makes speaking to grandma as easy as dialing a number. An efficient postal system gets important correspondence to us in just days. No more quill and ink for our members of the press with these speedy typewriters. The kids have their fun with rock and roll with just a push of a button. Modern technology has also provided us with powerful and efficient automobiles. And television provides us the opportunity to talk to thousands of people just like you about important subjects like your highway and you. Oh no, not another freeway. Right through my living room? You gotta be kidding. My business will be ruined. They can't do this to me. It doesn't have to be that way. Really, it doesn't. And I'll show you why. I share with many others a deep concern over the way that the absolute need, and there is a need, for more and bigger superhighways through and around our cities has in some cases aroused deep public resentment. Then who can blame the people for crying, another freeway? Who needs it? Like a hole in the head. I must tell you that I have discovered and investigated one freeway project which isn't like that at all. A unique design was created which separates the east and west roadways by a full city block in a graceful double arc, supports the freeway on sculptured columns that are wide apart, and best of all, elevates the whole freeway far above the ground. And now we come to that part of the Papago freeway concept, which I find the most stimulating and interesting of all, helicoil. It is a circuit interchange made up of a series of concentric helices to form a helicoil. I'm told it's economical to build, very efficient from a traffic handling standpoint. And as you can see, can you imagine a freeway system where cars ride high above us through the city on ramps and loops? 40 years from now, anything is possible. At the same place, no matter which direction he may want to go. Once on the ramp. That was then. This is now. More than 50 years ago, this kind of modern technology and convenience seemed revolutionary. Now, it's history. And so is the old approach to planning and funding a highway system. Arizona has changed drastically in the last few decades. In fact, Arizona was home to 1.3 million people in 1960 and grew to five times that size in just over 40 years. The future is here, and one thing is certain, we have never overestimated our growth here in Arizona. People still move here every year to join our community, one that includes beautiful weather, a free-spirited lifestyle, and a diversity of cultures, climates, and scenery. Thank you.
The transportation plan developed for the Phoenix metro area in 1960 seemed high in the sky then. Today we have a robust state highway network that features rubberized asphalt, freeway technology, and a loop system that serves millions of people each day throughout an ever-expanding metro area. It's a system that's critical to getting people to where they need to go to live, work, and play. Back in the 60s, the Arizona Department of Transportation was a highway department. Today, we are a comprehensive transportation agency responsible for planning, designing, building, and maintaining a transportation network that serves the vast and diverse needs of our state and the people who live here. And looking into the future is one of our main priorities. What will our state look like 40 years from now? How many people will live here? Where will we live, work, and play? And how will we move to get from here to there? The State Transportation Board also recognizes the value of looking ahead. It provided ADOT with the necessary funding to partner with communities statewide to develop a vision for a transportation future. Looking ahead to 2050 can be challenging. Will cars fly? Will bullet trains speed us to our destination? We don't have a crystal ball to predict the future, but we do have technical experts who use advanced planning tools to help develop the shared vision and help us make sound decisions over the coming decades. And we have valuable input from communities around Arizona who told us what's important to them when it comes to shaping our transportation future. But we still need you to help guide us. Your input is critical in developing our transportation needs over the next 40 years. What will the future look like? Now is the time to tell us what moves you, Arizona. Personally, I can't wait to get my wheels on it. How about you?